like Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super, Dr. Stone, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, well those are just a few of the several different hundreds of anime selections that you can watch for free with my trial code for Funimation Now. All you gotta do is click that link in the description below and check out Funimation Now for a free 14 day trial period to enjoy all of these anime and many many more. That's Funimation Now by using the link in the description below. And what's up everybody, it's your boy Ooch, and of course, with the homie Kai, and finally, we are back once again, how y'all doing today? So yes, this is, uh, I believe, episode 12 of Full Power Podcast, am I right? I believe so. Yeah. Um, Alright, cool, so it's been a couple weeks since the last episode, a lot has happened, a lot has gone down, um, but if you're not, we're back here at it. Um, Today, we're pretty much going to be talking about, you know, like what we think about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot now that I feel like the hype for it has definitely settled down uh, a lot, um, considering, you know, when it first dropped and like everyone was on it for like the first week for sure. And now, kind of just want to give a, give the thoughts of the experiences that we've had so far on the game. And after that, of course, we got to talk about the 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 truth and the reality behind why dragon ball super still has not made any kind of you know appearance or any mention as to when the anime is returning and yeah and of course like always we're gonna definitely go and check out your guys comments from the last episode so stay tuned for these discussions right after this do you like anime do you like japanese inspired things do you like clothes? I'm sure you like to stay warm. Well, I got this stuff for you. Introducing Imori.com, a website that introduces anime and Japanese inspired styled clothing made in-house. And you can use the code Uchi15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t-shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15% off your entire order at imori.com. All right, so first things first, we got to talk about Kakarot, okay? So Kakarot came out um, towards the end of January. It was kind of like mid-ish January. Um, I got the collector's edition. Kai, you got, the, you got that standard, John, right? Yep. So uh, I feel like I said, I said this in a previous video or some, I mentioned it somewhere, but... Um, I basically got that collector's edition, which is like the big box that comes with the diorama 8x8x8 statue of Goku and youth Gohan, very, very <laughs> youthful Gohan flying on the Nimbus next to that dinosaur. Um, you know, and that is a very, very awesome statue. It's one of the few statues that I own. Um, also comes with the, um, art book of the game and it comes with a collectible steel case to you know put the game in so you basically get two game cases essentially one that's just there and one that's like the default standard edition um shockingly though you're spending basically 200 dollars for this right you're not getting a season pass and you're not getting a soundtrack which are two pretty integral integral things that i would always expect to find out of any kind of collector's edition that's gonna cost anywhere near that much money i completely agree yeah so it's like it's like one of those things where i was just like all right well i didn't it didn't even it didn't even hit me until after the fact because like i had i had it and i was like okay like let's like i was i was pretty hyped because i, I bought it out of hype because i was like you know what i can't wait to play this game let me just buy the collector's edition what sense does that make i have no idea but <laughs> so yeah i i pretty much did an impulse overbuy, hit myself with that actually and i was like wow like this this shit actually doesn't come with no season pass like so i'm gonna have to spend <laughs> more money you know because obviously i want to have all the potential new missions and shit that might drop whoever like whenever who knows when that might happen a lot of people and fans are speculating like oh yeah like they they could 
They could put out movie missions. They could put super. I mean, I hope they do all that stuff and more. But aside from, you know, why and what additions we bought, tell me your experience. How far are you in the game? Have you beaten it? And comparing it to what we like to call the successor to sagas, how does it compare? I'm sleep. I still think it's more I still think it's more like Infinite World than it is Sagas, but they all have the same concept in mind, like that open world Dragon Ball type of thing. Um I made it to the Android Saga. I did not beat it. I made it to the Android Saga literally um that day when the when Jiro and 19 appeared in town is where I'm at. Okay, so yeah, you're definitely you're definitely a whole hell of a lot farther than I am. I can tell you that right now, because the last time I got a chance to even play this game was the last time I streamed it, which was a couple weeks ago, pretty much. Um, mm-hmm. So I mean, yeah, that sounds like you, but you're 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 getting there from you know from what I know and what's public knowledge at this point. The game basically covers the entirety of Dragon Ball Z minus all of the movies and whatnot, obviously. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that obviously includes, uh, you know, Raditz all the way through and to Kid Buu. Now, I'm wondering if, is, is Oob at the end? Because that, that, that much I actually don't know. I wouldn't know either. Yeah, actually, I actually don't know if that's actually a thing. Because I just realized, I was like, oh, wait, but that's like the, that's like the, like the epilogue of Z, you know? Like, that's how they ended it. They were like, oh, okay. Got a little time skip and got the little fight at the end. Like that'd be that'd be kind of cool. Or if it was like a cutscene or something, that'd be kind of dope, I guess. But I feel like it should be in there. If it's not, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, the the progress that I've made with the game, um, I basically I'm at the part. I'm very early on. Like I'm, I believe, just about to start fighting um, Vegeta and Nappa. So, like, I am, I'm not far at all. And here's the thing, like, when I started playing this game, I was so, I, I guess you could say distracted, because, like, I, I like the whole exploration and the fact that you could <laughs> literally just stay stuck in a in a zone, like, trying to get all those oh, dude, orbs. Flying around. Dude, I started doing that, like, towards the beginning, right? Like, flying around, getting all the orbs and everything like that, just having a good-ass time in the open yep. world. Until I, like, fought someone... <laughs> And then got like a couple hundred orbs of all different kinds. And I was like, well, my hour long flight exploration was done in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, that's, that's what I love about the game. Like, games where you get lost just having fun, just playing it. And you don't even have any kind of care in the world of like how much time is going by. I mean, those are great games in my opinion. And like, this is like the first... I feel like this is the first Dragon Ball Z game where they really hit they really hit the nail on the head with this one. Like I, I gotta say they did a great job. It's a great story game. Um I know you're saying it's more of the successor to Infinite World. Unfortunately, I didn't even get to play Infinite World. And if you wanna know why, you guys can listen to a pre- the previous episode where we were talking about um, you know, the the greatest games of Dragon Ball Z and all that stuff. Um I think that was like episode like 11 or 10 one of those not too long ago but we did ha- we did discuss that um my experience with games similar to this especially within dragon ball obviously goes with sagas and i even just to just to see what this man said i hit up brother Uch and i was like yo do you really still want there to be a sagas too and he said yes <laughs> i was like yo you're still holding on to that hope like it's not happening like especially with this game like i was i was basically just trying to sell him on i was like dude you should really just get kakara and play it because this is this is your sagas too that you want but way better like way better and he's like "Eh." like he gives me the usual (laughs) brother uch response when he 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 doesn't want to say no now i have a question because we were talking about this previously you mentioned Mm -hmm. something that I was 
I don't remember what you said directly, but you said something along the lines of, I was really gonna, like, I was gonna trip, I was gonna freak out, or something, there was something leaked in, like, the trophies or whatever. <gasps> oh. Have I? I don't, there yeah. is, there is something that I saw that caught me completely off guard, but I'm not sure if it's the same thing or not. Oh, well, go ahead. L l I will, I will... If it is, I will say, okay, yeah, that's it. But if it's not, then but I will tell you. But I don't want to say you. it if you haven't gotten that far. Like, what if you don't know? Oh, well, no, because I saw the I saw the trophy, and okay. the, tro the trophy straight up spoils right. it. So it's yeah, like... Yeah, but... Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> something that caught me way off guard is when I went back to Bulma's mm -hmm. in Capsule Corp, I went to... I went to go... Ah, oh, I just went to go with, I was using Vegeta. I went to go into the training room, into the gravity chamber. Thank you. Jeez. I went to go into the gravity chamber and there was a new worker there, like a new professor. Mm. Has nothing to do with that. I'll tell you that right now. All right. I'm not going to say anything further because I know you're going to be posting about that. I don't, I don't know if you already know, but I'm definitely not going to ruin it. I don't think I do actually, now that you mention it. That's good. That, I'm not going to say yeah. anything. So I would, I'll love, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be posted up on your, on your stream session sessions waiting for that reaction because that caught me off guard. Yeah. I think for the sake of my streams, man, like what I was saying before, like, dude, I spent the minimal time that I had just flying around trying to get all the orbs. Dude. Oh, oh. Wait, yeah, 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 wait. Not only was there a new professor working on the gravity chamber stuff, but there was a new, a Saiyan. Uh, what was, Bon Yu? Oh wait, Bon Yu. Bon Yu's uh, Bon Yu's the 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 Jace sister, or whatever. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, she's the DLC. She was part of the season pass, I think. Oh. Mhm. Mm I hadn't. I had not seen her. Like I had seen her in like pictures and like other stuff, but I haven't seen her like in a game or like anything like that you know what i mean you know it's crazy like she's dragon ball's first thick waifu ever i'm fully aware i noticed that instantly i was like okay so they're doing this <laughs> yes they are <laughs> and i am totally with it like everyone's all about chigi versus bulma and and then you have your uh your launch folks Nah, oh my son. God. Oh, but actually, launches matter of fact, launches, I'm, you know, getting quite a part in this one. I messed up though because I kind of, I totally forgot all about Android Twenty One. She's definitely, yeah. yeah okay, Banyu's not the first. Never mind. Banyu is the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's that's what I was talking about. Was that other professors? They put Android Twenty One in this game. I was like, what? Oh, oh. See, no, I didn't know that. That's fire though. That's that's actually really that's pretty cool. That's dope. Oh, yeah. I'm that doesn't that make any it. sense, though. I mean, it's a game. Like, they they blatantly said that they were adding stuff that we've never seen before regarding the story, and I love those scenes, like especially like Vegeta and Nappa and Raditz talking on that planet at the beginning, like yes. at the very beginning. That was dope. We've never seen like stuff like that. I really, I really like the extra scenes mm -hmm. that they're putting in, and that's making me want to play it. But, like, when you do something, like, add that. Like, a mm. game-exclusive character like that. It makes you wonder. It makes you what wonder What are they doing? <laughs> I, hey, man. Because Jero's computer can be, make, can be pumping out fucking four to sevens for all I care. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. You never know. They could really hit you with the actually. There's this many androids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually. Yeah, no, that's not... That's, that's true. I mean, think about it, man. I've said this millions of times. Like, they honestly could, they could bring in whoever character they want, as as long as Akira says, "Yeah, go ahead." Like, or if he directly writes their them in in some way, then yeah. Like, but another thing I definitely want to bring up, which is kind of like a slight transition, not really, because we're not completely done talking about uh, Kakarot yet. Okay. Um, but gotta bring up Geekdom. So Geekdom, he made a video recently talking about um, some of the, I guess, cons to Kakarot. And the only cons really are just the minor, we don't really know if they're actual mistranslation. Actually, no, they're not mistranslations. They're intentionally 
put into the game um and it, it basically just incorrect information um and stuff along those lines and he basically was saying like look guys you cannot take what takes place in a video game as like the like as canon or you know stuff like that because at the end of the day the manga is the bible whatever (laughs) happens in the manga that's what's canon and like but he even says like in dragon ball like he he he, him him and i both hate that word and i and i started hating canon because of dragon ball right because you know you got fans for years like oh like canon this this is not canon this is canon this is not canon like you know over all these different things and then you got and then you got people that love this game so much that they're willing to challenge like oh yeah like this is i guess this is canon now no it's a video game video games are meant to basically play off of the source material while adding new things and just because you like it doesn't mean that that shit is real <laughs> okay like it's mario party it's just made up shenanigans for the sake of the experience and you might not like it you might like it at the end of the day the manga is the bible and i'm pretty sure that's that's the direct thing that he said like that the, the manga is the gospel basically um is what he's saying and it's true because the manga is the source material dragon ball is one of those series where the manga came first akira toriyama is him you know and like that's that and he like it took him to write a whole script a movie script to literally bring in broly and it's it's not even like the original broly it is a it is his broly you know what i'm saying now that same concept could happen for any character android 21 it could happen to cooler it could happen to like uh, harutagarn it could happen to tapion it could happen to any of those characters that we might have had some kind of connection with um, whether it was a movie or a video game or a scenario that happened outside of his story so long as he likes it enough and notices that a, a lot of people in the fandom really love x character or y scenario he could he could take it and then just make it work for it to make sense because I will say this right now. I feel like it's highly unlikely for him to to even look at Super Dragon Ball Heroes and get reference from that and to do something from there because that shit is such a it, it's so, it's so messy that I don't even think it's a good idea to even try to do anything from Super Dragon Ball Heroes and then just put it in. I mean, may, like maybe some of the concepts, but I would not like. I don't know. Like it it, it, it it's too crazy over there in the Super Dragon Ball Hero universe. Um, but like characters that I feel like definitely have a shot and we've talked about this before, you know, cooler is definitely next, obviously. And then a second and like a, and a close second is obviously Majin 21, Android 21, whatever, because, you know, she had, she fits a lot of different characteristics and traits that appeal to many, many fans. She's thick. She's a waifu she's badass she's a fucking android and a majin in one ca- like uh, hello like that's od so i mean cell is a fucking frieza a I saiyan mean, yeah, a android yeah. uh like a when, piccolo okay i mean yeah no i hear you but like it's not it, it, is he a thick waifu though no no I understand you. I'm just saying, as far as like the the jeans are concerned, yeah, not the, the big yeah, booty yeah. jeans, not the apple bottom jeans, but like you know. Oh shit, the, the booze cool. with the fur, son. No, <laughs> 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 no, nah, nah, like I know I hear what you're saying. Like I definitely hear what you're saying. Like Cell definitely has way more like things in him. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, Android yeah. 21 is basically just two. But Cell's a boss. I don't know. Like that's a. Ooh man, I don't know. That that's crazy. Like that that's a, that's a discussion in itself. Like mm-hmm. we could, we could revisit that another day. Like <laughs> who do we want first, Cell to return or Android Twenty One? We'll we'll talk. Mm. We'll, we'll look we'll, look that... forward to that one. Stop. Yeah, look 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 forward to that episode in the future, guys. <laughs> I did not see that one coming because that's really gonna be a discussion now. Oh yeah, nah, for real. But so yeah, so 
So yeah, Cat Cry. Is there anything you don't like about the game? I mean, I'm just a combat whore, so it's just, <laughs> it's just that. But like, I understand the game for what it is, so there's no reason to hate on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with other than the blatantly obvious. No, absolutely not. What? It's a really good game. It's a great game. It's a nice casual game. I kind of like it, but um, yeah, I'm taking it slow. It's definitely hella refreshing. Like, cause like cause... in combat, that shit is key blast spam city. Something you didn't like about the 3ds. I mean, hey, like I am taking this like because look, this is this is not a fighting game. This is an no, adventure. No, I'm fully aware. Yeah, like I'm I'm like like I don't have to I don't have to worry about how people feel about how I'm playing it. Cause first per- cause personally, the way I've been playing with the combat system is I've been I've been mixing up my my hand to hand with trying to do like to I end my combos with the beam blast and all that kind of stuff. That's how I've been playing the game. That's kind of like how you should be playing it anyway. But um, cause I like yeah, you could I guess key blast spam and all that. But I'm not talking about the regular key blast. I'm talking about the super attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, that stuff. shit homes in for you it does raw damage and knocks them back gives you enough time to charge back to do it again well you're lucky because i feel in my experience playing it so far every time i've tried to hit them like i i ha- i absolutely have to make sure that i combo into it because if i try to do a raw kamehameha they just dodge it every time i'm like but you're t- we're talking about two different things though a kamehameha yes they're gonna dodge it but i'm talking about the one that literally puts you in a sniper target system for those rapid fire key blasts oh okay yeah. that skill specifically like the consecutive key blast one like start yeah. using it you'll see exactly what i mean gotcha okay yeah, no, you're right. But yeah, if you're playing the way you're playing, you know, comboing shit, dodging around, like, and throwing command maids and stuff, yeah, that's lit. But, yeah, it's uh, consecutive key blasts all day, every day for that game, so. But, yeah, but, like. But even, it is a story game, so there's nothing wrong with that. Exactly. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, there is there is literally no way, I mean, unless you're trying to speed run and, like, be a boss faster than your, your friend or whatever, there is literally no actual, like, you know, there's no versus mode in this game, which I'm I'm okay with too because we got we got fighters for that, we got Xenoverse for that, we got freaking other Dragon Ball games and other fighting games in general that are out there that you could do that in. So like, this is re- very refreshing. I haven't I'm having a good time playing it so far. Um, I guess the only thing that I'm looking forward to seeing potentially happen out of this is what add-ons they actually include. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much, I was, I was going to say, oh, if they put the American, uh, TV, uh, background music track tracks, I knew, it. I knew that was coming. That's it. Like, like, cause like that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's some things that people were actually commenting on, on my stream live, like in the chat, they were like, oh, like, can you change the music? I was like, nope. Right. Like you cannot, they, they stick to the original Japanese. However, you can obviously hear the voices, I believe, in Japanese. But all of the dialogue, I'm, I'm, I left that English right on because I was like, "Yo, I'm trying to, I'm trying to trying get to them take a throwback city." Yeah, I'm trying to get them feels, man. I can't wait to get to the part where Goku goes Super Saiyan three, but I know it's not gonna be the same because it's not Bruce Falconer. And yeah. I don't care how people feel, man. I know everyone feels different about him, but listen, this guy had great tracks. He had a select handful that I absolutely loved, and that was one of them. And and everybody loves that song. I don't care if you're a Bruce Faulkner hater. You're not fully. You cannot be 100% not. You cannot 100% not like this guy because of that song. Everyone likes that song. I don't know anyone that does not like that song. If they don't like that song, then... Uh, yeah, I guess that, I don't know. I think uh, you get checked out. <laughs> <laughs> put it put it simply, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got on uh, Kakra. I can't wait to continue to play it. Um, it's a dope game. If you guys have not checked that that out, um, definitely. Um, there's there's always, of course, going to be my Amazon store in the description below, where if you're thinking about getting it and you're going to get it off Amazon anyway, check it out through my. Uh, 
affiliate store you just buy it right from there just like normal except the difference is that it helps your boy i've never and i don't even know how it helps because i don't think anyone's actually used it yet but there, there there's your um there's your transparency 101 right there for you guys <laughs> completely real out here but um but yeah so the other topic the other big topic that uh wanted to talk talk to you guys about is the uh the actual the, the story out of why super is not here right now and where 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 the hell is it and why is it taking so long and again another reference off of geekdom okay he made he he's the one with the story because no one else got this this is this is a complete exclusive in itself for his for his channel because this man went out to japan not to seek answers I'm, I'm sure he was literally there for you know vacation purposes he also saw uh wrestle kingdom live which is a pretty big deal if you're a wrestling fan like i am um and you know he he did a lot of touristy stuff he saw a lot of things he took a lot of videos ate lots of different foods he had a good time he enjoyed himself which is i'm i'm very happy that he did he has he has a couple of vlog videos posted if you guys want to take a look back at his experience i have to actually check that out for myself i've only seen uh most of the stuff that he just posted on twitter but pretty much i think i'd just be re-watching those because it's like a compilation kind of thing but anyway but yeah so he was out there and while he was out there um he, he made it public that he was meeting somebody from toei to you know to find out the obvious because why else would he you know why would anyone like you know want to be knocking on their door now here's the thing the difference is that he didn't go to the toei building he met with someone in private okay that he also says in his video that he does he's not he's not revealing who for obvious reasons this person does not want to get fired but obviously this person understands who this guy is and they understand that he is like the dragon ball youtuber right now that you know we are all getting our source and information from all the news you know he most likely gets a lot of things he, he gets a lot of of that stuff first or early or ahead of time he has multiple sources so he's very credible and you know that that all that is obvious that 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 much is uh actually known throughout the fandom uh for the good majority of the fandom right so he meets with this guy and basically they're telling him exactly what's going down so after all of the stuff that we already know with like oh yeah so he's so 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 we had the 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 whole the the italian vegeta incident we had the the horikawa incident or the, the you know the japanese voice actor for vegeta um we had like 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 we had like he 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 we had him telling us previously that he was um that he he got multiple sources telling him that straight up that they were already working on it it's been factual information that they have been chopping the episodes around to like other companies and whatnot and it, it's just a known thing now what it comes down to and this is something that i guess i don't really i never really saw anyone talking about this previous was simply that it's on toriyama which is kind of like a oh is that so kind of thing because like this guy like you you would have think you would thought that oh like you know they have material to work off of so the whole process behind what goes down when they are about to make an anime for i guess dragon ball specifically we're talking about dragon ball here is that toriyama has to give them a script he has to give them something in order to to go off of and it's literally at the discretion of him because if he's not if he has nothing they're not doing anything and he's gonna take his time like he's chilling right now and that's literally ultimately what what what's what's happening is that toriyama has not given them any script as to what they uh what, what what they're gonna animate next i guess which but at the same time it's kind of weird that they that that's what's what's going on because if it's already been been working uh they're, they're already working on it they've been working on it so it just makes me wonder like 
I like what did they work on so far? That's kind of like the questions that I have because that much I don't even know if he knows. He just knows that the, that's the, that the, the fact is like yes they've they've been working on it. I'm sure they've had voice work done for whatever they've done. It just makes me feel like it's it's one of two things. It's either they just they did Broly stuff or they did Moro stuff. It's one or the other. Like because I. I I don't know why they would do anything else if they're supposed to tie this in with, oh yeah, Toriyama didn't give us any kind of new script, so, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it kind of like, it's like low-key contradicting itself, but, you know, like, it, it's, it's weird. It's weird. I mean, to me, it kind of, it kind of makes sense if Toyotaro's, you know, the one pretty much at this point just the one doing the manga that we're currently getting right now the whole moral arc and everything uh-huh. it makes sense to keep like we just got we just got this new dbs broly right that is toriyama's new kind of like dragon ball baby child at this point because we did it like as fans like we did it like we got broly like yes. <laughs> the yes, fan service is wild right now so it kind of makes sense to like keep that story because you know how they had that one picture that was like, oh, that's a story for another time. <laughs> yeah. They like they kind of like put him to the side and dubbed him for a moment. Because I think whatever whatever Akira is gonna submit might have to do with him. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, like I, that's why I, that's why it makes me wonder and like exactly what they've already worked on and then what exactly they're waiting on because like i I think it's kind of crazy that i mean it's not too crazy because obviously it's him it's his work like he has a good involvement with you know like he has he has enough pull and say as to what exactly he wants to happen in his story like he like they like they like they said he makes the script he submits it then they kind of go over it and they go from there so i mean i don't think there's anything that they're gonna disapprove from this guy because it's like toriyama is only here to produce fire i mean he made a, <laughs> he, he only he literally gave us a three hour movie script for broly the only thing that they did they didn't disprove it i mean they kind of did but they they had to cut it down because they're like whoa 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 all right all right <laughs> it's like i gotta get ahead of ourselves but i mean hey there was a three hour script that movie was what like almost two hours two just barely two hours long as it was they cut out mad stuff for that film what could have been and i feel like and i said it even then i was like they're they, like they're i was saving it yeah, like they could be saving it for the when the anime comes back to fill in what you know some of the blanks that might have that we might not have even realized that were there. And I, like, I don't know, man. Like, I, you're not you're not gonna have to persuade me to you know be like, all right, guys, we're coming back with Dragon Ball and it's about to and we're doing the Broly. Oh, fact, well, whatever, we're in there. Like, ain't got <laughs> you ain't got to tell me twice, like. It just makes sense because, like, I mean, if you're a fan and you know that there was a three-hour script that that they had to cut, like, that doesn't make you curious as to what they cut. Like, this is ha- having it done in the anime is the perfect opportunity to like have all of those things like touched upon. So, I mean, we got to keep it real though. They didn't, you know, we're talking about the green here, okay? They cut that shit because you know, 90 minutes makes a movie. You want three hour? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Save that movie for next year. We got that income. I mean. Yeah, uh-huh, that, uh-huh. that's Continue. like that's a that's a part two though. That's not like oh like what's what happened. I mean, I guess they could like include them through fl- like flashbacks or whatever. I don't know, but that's pretty much like what's going down. Like, and outside of that, what is what's the other option? Obviously, we got Moro. That's a direct manga adaptation, and who knows, man? Like at the rate that this arc is going, it's kind of hard to tell and predict when it's gonna end like when when the arc itself like when moral is gonna be defeated like when this whole conflict is gonna be over with and then what happens after that like could you do you think like 
they're, they're even waiting for something like that to like you know because i mean that's dumb like it's dragon ball like they can make an announcement in two minutes from now and everyone's literally gonna shit themselves drop what they're doing and literally just flock to it because that like that's what's that's just, that's just how it how it's gonna go like why do you think akira's sipping his tea taking his time i mean sh- that's fucked <laughs> Patience is a virtue. No, it's not. Patience is annoying when it comes to this shit. Cause like I've been, everyone's dying for that, yo. Like, I feel like this is we always. Everyone's have, been dying to the point where it literally got like it got a new series. Yeah, but like think about it, man. Like, like we mm-hmm. we got. I'm not saying I don't want it. Yesterday, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> he said yesterday exactly <laughs> like it's it's something that like it's it's well overdue like it was overdue yeah. when they said it was coming to a stop after terminal power like oh we're having a movie all right so what like i mean yeah like yeah i understand like animators are in everywhere my opinion, in my opinion it didn't even make sense to keep going after the tournament of power should that have not been the last arc what do you mean? The Tournament of Power. The last arc of Super? The last arc of, like, Dragon Ball period, yeah. Yeah. I guess. Because... Because, like, you know you know what I mean? Like, what kind of threat are you going to have other than the highest authority in every existence calling a tournament of every fighter in the universe? Right. Yeah, it's like it's a great way to it's a great way to end, but hey, exactly, we got Moro. <laughs> and though, <laughs> actually, no, we, we got, got we got Broly then Moro. Yeah, facts. We, tell me how we got Broly after that, right? Because mm-hmm. we got Broly in it, people were hype. We got that fake Broly in it, and then we got that real Broly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, to I'm, me, the Tournament of Power should have been the last arc of like Dragon Ball. It just makes sense too. But no, they they decided they they were gonna squeeze in some extra stuff, and I mean I'm not complaining because obviously a Broly obvious, b the Moro arc is fire. Like this, that's the best arc in the manga to date. I like it the most, even over the Terminal of Power, over Trunks, over everything that's happened in the manga. Like there are so many things that have come out of this arc, like lore wise. That is just ridiculous, and that's the thing. You're like, right. they're like, with the, hype. the yeah, dude. The, the 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 future of this series is so bright. Like, they could literally treat Dragon Ball like Star Wars in the sense that they can add all this side stuff that we've been asking for for the longest time. Like, they could have like yep. a side story for this character, a side story for that character. Uh, uh like whatever you know like there's there's so much to the the lore of dragon ball now like the the whole realm of dragon ball with now 12 universes we got fallen universes we got characters from other universes that we want to know more about i mean like they, like toei there's a dragon ball room dedicated for dragon ball Obviously, I said that. I said that shit twice, right? But in to in the, in the Toei <laughs> building, there's a Dragon Ball room, specifically for Dragon Ball. Dude, they could make. They should just have another building for fucking Dragon Ball because they could. They could, dude. If like there was, I, we it's, we talked about this before, bro. They could have really made West City. Don't play, dude. They like that whole that whole fan made Avengers. Oh no, no, the Marvel movie timeline graphic i mean that dude the concept is all there though like i like forget what some of those titles were all about like some of them might sound ridiculous but it's just like that's the reality of the concept is that the the lore there's that much to work with where we don't even have to like rely on just it being about goku and vegeta there's all these other characters to work with. There's all these scenarios and situations and backstories and this and that and the third. And I feel like that would also give them more appreciation because look what happens. If you give us something 
for however long you give it to us for after a while eventually it's just gonna get a little boring and tiresome no matter how many power-ups they give these fucking guys okay they could go super saiyan rainbow for all i know and it's just like at that point it's just like, god damn like they're really going through all the colors but you could also side note and take a breather from those characters and give us other characters give them shine so that way by the time they swoop in and help or they do something that's dope then it's just like oh yeah here we go it's like hit john cena's theme song bing, ding, ding, ding. like that's just or they instant transmission to earth from yardrat okay there you go see like they don't even need to be the like the mcs man like i mean there's there's plenty of people out there that are waiting very patiently for other characters I'm not even saying like gohan or like the kids <laughs> like in general like dude imagine if they took the story to universe 6 imagine if they took the story to universe 11 imagine if they took imagine if they took the story to the news and we got an update <laughs> okay exactly you know like they could do anything they, they, could, they could really do anything and then some and that it, it should make mad money like the, like the fact that they they even did the reincarnation of Yamcha story like dude imagine if they have more like that for manga for OVAs for anime so shorts they you could know. do it for Yamoshi dude and that's another thing like Akira fucked up man he name dropped this guy he name dropped and then cells about him. and it's not even like who knows if he actually forgot about it or not but it's the fact that they didn't do anything with it they just they just mentioned it in in fucking interviews and nothing was done. I mean, who knows? Maybe he's trying to work that stuff in. But it's like, what do you mean? How do you how do you make it work? Like, yo, oh my god, I, why why why'd you bring that shit up? I just I just came up. I just had like one of those that's so Raven moments where it's just like, <gasps> like I had a vision, bro. <laughs> I just had a fucking oh my god. I hate. I literally hate when this happens. I hate when this happens because you say something and then I instantly it's triggered. Yo, I instantly think of a whole scenario and then that that adds another. <laughs> you just wrote another hour. arc in your head in one frame, like. Bro, okay, check this shit out. Ready? So after all the training, all the shit they went through, Yard Rat, Ultra Instinct, that shit, Moro is still a problem. Out of nowhere, Yamoshi comes in and fucking ends it and just dips. And we're like, yo, what the fuck? Like, dude, no one would expect Yamoshi, dude. No one would expect Yamoshi in that shit. That's a stretch. That's a super stretch. I know it's not going to happen. But again, like, it's like Dragon Ball has not even just Dragon Ball anime now in the last few years have conditioned me to completely think outside the box like i'm not even in the box like i'm out of the box like the fucking disney channel show back in the day out of the fucking <laughs> box son oh, i'm asleep <laughs> like yo i'm not even playing like i heard that whole theme play in my head <laughs> oh my god but yeah like like they, I I hate how they they name dropped him though. They I hate how they name dropped him and they didn't do nothing with him yet. It's been years. It's been it's been years. And the same thing with the S cells. Same thing with the S cells, dude. <laughs> it's like they nah, fuck a S cell. We got the tingly. <laughs> the tingly back. I like. I actually. I actually. Uh, I grew on that quick. Like the explanation that they had. Like oh, the tingly feeling your back. Like. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. But pretty much, I think, yeah, that that's it. I mean, other news. Let's not even relating to Dragon Ball. <clears throat> as far as uh, well, I guess it does wait, have wait, something. Wait, wait, wait. To, wait, what happened? What's up? Well, wait. If it has to do with Dragon Ball, continue. <clears throat> I well, it kind of does because um, what do you say? Well, okay, a few things. Super Dragon Ball Heroes new season or it's not even a new right, season next no no, 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 no no like that's coming out soon the update i believe for the game is actually out there already or if it's not it's coming soon and i'm pretty sure it's gonna be free because that's how they've been doing the dlc which is nice for the switch users because of course the arcade is you know they're gonna get everything um and 
what would have been the Dragon Ball Super Return. Instead, the time slot is being filled up with Digimon Adventure, aka yeah. the let yes let yes you heard me correctly, folks. Digimon Adventure. So nostalgia is is such a strong jutsu. Okay, <laughs> it's such a strong jutsu, guys. I will let you guys know this right now. Oh my god. Digimon is popular for what it is as it is, right? It's 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 a personal favorite thing of mine, especially from my childhood growing up because those was J Digimon was one of the things that I did grow up on and I did watch regularly with everything else that I was keeping up with back in that day, Pokémon, Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, right? And so recent in like after season three which was tamers that shit like kind of fell off because yes there was frontier and cross whatever the hell it was there was like a season four season five i don't even know if they had a season six and if they did well there you go didn't even know about it right the popularity just kind of dropped and then digimon took like a a long hiatus similar to dragon ball you didn't see no kind of digimon shit outside of like maybe your your video game every now and then right and then they decided all right let's hit let, let's 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 go back to the to the first character roster let's 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 age them a little bit you know let's continue their story and you know make something epic of it of course it was fire of course it did well because why because it was the characters everyone was familiar with and that did so well that they made a movie that's i think a dragon uh well, i said dragon ball digimon adventure kizuna i believe is what the title is um should be out between now and march in japan in theaters and before that movie's even out they confirm that they're gonna just they said fuck it if pokemon can literally keep ash at age 10 and they could reboot or remake or redo whatever they want to do from the old movies from 20 years ago. Fuck it, we're going to do the same thing. That's what they're doing. Toei is smart. They want to keep making money. They're going to keep using Nostalgia Jutsu for as long as they fucking can. Because the, the whole point of Adventure Try and this new movie is to put a close to that story of those characters. Because... They're basically like on their way out from high school. Like that's how old they are. That's how old they're getting. Like they're they're about to be the you know young adults and like pretty much going into adulthood. That was a long high school time. Yo, but like like think about it. Digi Digimon when it was the uh, the the Digimon uh, Digi Destined, right? They were super young. And then when they came back at Digimon Adventure Try, they was all at least like seniors in high school pretty much like juniors and seniors like you know for the most part and they was already like on their on their way like they was all like you know going down their own paths like one was a business guy one was trying to make a band one was you know involved with his sports <laughs> like there's yo but that shit was real and it was very relatable and connected and of course because it's the original cast it's gonna it's gonna literally uh have some kind of of effect on us like the, the the fans that grew up with it like we're gonna watch it no matter what and then obviously since it's new this is like oh okay word like this is gonna it's gonna get like new people to be on to it anyway and then now that their story is supposed to be closing what's the best thing to do re-fucking start it and that's exactly what's happening that's literally what's replacing what would have been dragon ball super but of course like we said earlier toriyama has no script for them there's nothing that has been submitted and they're not doing no dragon ball so instead they're gonna fill it with digimon adventure try which is replacing uh gegege no kitaro which has been going on for a couple years ever since super stopped i haven't watched it at all so don't ask me how or what, what it's about or anything i know nothing about that show um, Kai, have you seen it? I don't think so. No. Okay. 
So that actually brings me to my transition, which was the whole movies point. Let's talk about how animes are skimping out on their shows to make movies because that's where the big bucks are. Yeah. Yeah, man. Movies are good. Everyone's jumping on that wave. And personally, I believe like Dragon Ball started it with Battle of Gods. Because now there's ever since that movie launched and did so well, we have all these anime movies now. Facts. Well, I'm not saying there haven't been any. Yeah. In the past, I'm just saying that there was a huge gap of nothing. Hmm, okay. You know what I mean? Or like one every three, every like third year or something. And then Dragon Ball Super did one. And then they did another one. And then they did another one. And then you got all these other shows. We got two My Hero movies. We got Demon Slayer movie. We got this movie. Like, everyone's jumping on that everywhere. So, I feel like One Piece definitely had hella movies, though, in between all that. Because One Piece still is going on. Like... That's their that's the uh, that's their other cash cow, that they're yeah. they're fucking yo they're yes, so they are so to, and I'm saying Toei when I say they they are so lucky that Oda refuses to end his fucking series, refuses. I mean he says that he's gonna ride this shit through at least another two to five years, right? Like. Think about One Piece started in the late 90s, right with Naruto. Yeah. Like, and Oda is still here. Still making manga. They, I think they hit over a thousand chapters. Like, do, do you understand how crazy that is? They're so lucky that they had this guy to, to fall back on. Yo, Oda-san. Arigato gozaimasu. Could please keep making One Piece. Like, you know, and they, he's doing it. This guy, kudos to One Piece, man. And don't ask, I don't know if I'll ever get into One Piece because, dude, that's a life commitment, which I don't have. Because think about it. If I started One Piece now, with my kind of time, shit, I would be probably 4,700 years old before I fucking finish that shit. It's not happening. But, yeah, they've had they've had One Piece ever since, like, to fill this void and gap. And they've had their movies and whatnot. But I definitely feel what you're saying, you know, with, with them, like, you know, them, like, like Battle of Gods definitely started a, a, a trend, I, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I suppose you could say it like that because, you know, we definitely have seen a lot more, seemingly a lot more of an uh, influx in, of anime movies and Anime I think in it's general. blatantly obvious that there's been a lot more since then. I'm not saying there were there weren't any beforehand, because obviously there were, but I'm just yeah. saying the influx of seeing them after what Super tried, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I just, I feel like it's also a combination of, like, just the anime industry as a whole is just doing really well for itself. And it's, it's actually... Yeah, it is. Yeah. Surprising. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, that's that's pretty much um, that's pretty much all of that. I love talking about you know all the all these things and relating things with Dragon Ball and all that kind of stuff. But we got your question, so don't worry, we're not forgetting that this time around. Um, let's say okay. So first, so we got Crimson. All right, so Crimson again big supporter of mine and the full power podcast definitely uh enjoys the full power podcast so his question is um if i remember right there was a 4d movie or something with super saiyan 4 broly if they did super saiyan 4 with canon super broly who would put him in a fight against super saiyan 4 goku or mastered ultra instinct goku or super saiyan 4 gogeta love the show guys keep it up and uh, Kai from a fellow lover of black, love the time ring and earring you're rocking. So you're always gonna Word. get that. Much love. You're, yeah, you're always gonna get that appreciation and shout outs for the fucking time ring and uh, the earrings you be rocking. Dude, you know it's so funny because every time, every time like somebody like appreciates it in person, right? Whether it's like a random person at like at like my job or like just any like anywhere, anywhere, somebody sees that shit in person and, and can identify it, and we start talking about Dragon Ball. It's like, it's instant friendship, it's instant good vibes, yeah. but the funny part is, every time people ask me about the ring, cause like, even one person I know, um, was talking about, he was like, yeah, I was gonna get it, but it looked like shit, blah, 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 and he was talking about, like, the little, like, like you know, like, the promotional one they show everywhere, 
like all that stuff i don't know i don't know if you know what i'm talking about but they you know they just try to sell stuff you know all the time just merch just like anime merch whatever yeah and he was like yo yours looks so real like where did you get it i shit you not every single time <laughs> i tell someone where i got it they like their face just drops and they're just like all right i'm gonna head out because like they were ready for it yeah because like your level your level of like (laughs) like what's the word i want to use for this like like your 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 faith and and like your like adoration like i don't even know like the the loyalty there you go the loyalty that you have for your character is immeasurable in comparison to other because they're not out here trying to you know <laughs> you know spend that money on that shit so <laughs> that's facts yeah but, but it, it was worth but it. to answer the question um so the 4d movie that crimson is referring to is actually a it is taken from so he's talking about a special ride that actually is um i don't even know if it's still open in japan um but it was a four it was a ride at one of the theme parks it was a dragon ball ride obviously and this actually featured <clears throat> Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta, I think. Oh, like, and, and, and he fought against <clears throat> Super Saiyan, like, some crazy level of, of Broly that it was. Um, I don't think it was Super Saiyan 4, though. Let me just, I'm just going to do a quick Google search just to get the image in front of me. Um, because, like, I want to just see exactly... Yeah, okay. So it's a 4D cinema ride and it just it pretty much just looks like yeah, so it's Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, so I was right about that. But Broly is definitely like at least Super Saiyan 3, right? That's that, cuz his hair is a lot longer, different design, and it's the classic legendary uh Super Saiyan Broly, not obviously not the new Super Broly that we've been blessed with from Toriyama-san himself. Um but yeah, so this is um a 4d ride which i'm actually look i'm actually interested in actually watching because i never did um i didn't know i never even thought to even look on youtube if someone like recorded it or something um if there's like a, a like a direct feed it's not like a cam feed like i would i would love to check it out for myself um but yeah this broly is definitely not super saiyan 4 um just to kind of go over that but if they ever did do something like that i mean it doesn't even matter who they put him up against because at this point i mean the scenario you're giving us is almost like a a super dragon ball hero scenario like you know what i'm saying like because at this point broly's kind of done fighting against them outside of like training purposes like he is he is on their side you know what i'm saying so i don't know like what do you think about like putting that broly against whoever putting that broly against super saiyan 4 because yeah he's i mean yeah like super saiyan 4 goku or master ultra instinct or or just super saiyan 4 gogeta that's a lot of okay um, (laughs) yeah like (laughs) um so i guess i guess super broly would probably stomp super saiyan 4 goku Mm, damn. Ultra Instinct would put him down. He got all that power, but he not touching. He not touching the Weave Meister. Mm, the Weave Meister, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> we weave those. <laughs> Shout out to We Weave those from last episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's straight facts though. Uh, you have to feel like that playing Kakarot when they do like one of those oh, big facts. attacks. Yes. Where it's like you know what I'm talking about. It like changes your camera and everything. You're just. Like, Dude, I love I love the the like the mobility of that game. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Dude, the you know what you know what actually kind of upset me though, like real real shit. Mm. That was close. Um, it was the slow mo. The fact that you can activate slow mo at any point. Yeah. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. that's fine. Um, but yeah, so uh, we do have one and Super Saiyan oh. Super Saiyan Four Gogeta. Yeah. I mean, he lost the Super. I mean, he lost the Blue. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it might be a better matchup. Like, 
yeah like it, it so what's crazy is that you, you people gotta you people don't realize this but like as strong as Broly was, non-canon red huh super saiyan 4 gogeta is non-canon red <laughs> yeah <laughs> continue yeah I'm done. like that good well hmm i don't know man like like looking at what super saiyan 4 gogeta was in gt and then looking at how broly was i mean if it's the 4d broly that broly's getting washed if it's the super broly then i think he would still lose just by seeing like how blue handled him um and it's quite arguably like gogeta was about to like kill him with that last move that he did so that's arguably you know like people were like oh like if he got hit with that he would have been dead (laughs) <laughs> you know because he at that point he was already they already beat him up enough to knock him out of his like uncontrollable state you know and we yeah i love that it's <laughs> they would have killed him anyway they, yeah they would have killed him so i mean if you're taking super <laughs> saiyan 4 gogeta like i mean it's i feel like it's essentially all like i'm not saying they're super saiyan 4 is evenly matched with with god key i mean it's not yeah i mean it's not but then again like it's 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 it's, they're just too different they're they're, they're different you know they're different it's like on as far as like power scaling and all that shit goes like i'm 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 no fucking power scaler but yeah they're different they're different pull up to the scene with their ceilings missing (laughs) (laughs) oh i mean broly's ceilings missing in his power exactly like it, it takes a really really strong being to just calm his ass down so like gogeta has that clearly or or what a really thick alien shut up that shit like she fucking wished his ass away that's straight facts she couldn't even wish herself with him yeah but like people yo oh my god people gotta people gotta stop shipping that shit man they got stuff. I'm not shipping it. I'm just bringing it up. <laughs> but people keep shipping that every time. They're like, "Yo, Broly's girlfriend. Broly's girlfriend." I'm like, bro, like this is like, the, like, please tell me why the fandom is acting like any middle schooler that sees any girl and dude like hanging close to each other and they instantly call y'all dating. Like, oh yeah, that's your boyfriend. Oh, that's your girlfriend. And it's like, uh, no, they we kind of like just met. Like, leave us the fuck alone. Like. Like, th- this girl literally gave him chocolate. Oh, now he's trying to, now he's trying to smash. Like, get the fuck. That's not how that works. Like, he's literally Dragon Ball's Broly. He's, he's, he's Dragon Ball's Hulk. Excuse me. He, of course, he's trying to smash. No, nah, oh, shut up, man. Get out of here with that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he, like she wanted to save him for the sake of saving him because she felt bad knowing what he came from and who he had to deal with his entire life and he he don't know nothing else yes 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 and he about to learn a whole lot we're not about to get into that yeah this no this is, podcast, this is not but moving yeah, on it's not some doujinshi point, shit none of that no my point is that toriyama loves those indie characters so they're not going away yeah they're not going so when you see Broly, you better expect the squad, the B squad. <laughs> the B squad. We got the Z Warriors and the B squad. Who is the B squad? No, bro. What, what is it? What is it? Broly Chilai the, limo. The love, yeah, the love child, the orange, and yeah. So yes, yeah, limo. Yeah, limo, limo. Limo's just there, like the three of them. Yeah. The three broskateers. Limo's just there. He he not gonna do nothing. He's just there. I mean, I'm sure. I'm. He's gonna. He's gonna be like. He's gonna be the one that drives the ship away. Like, yeah, okay, good luck, bye. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll pick you up when you're done. Facts, facts, facts. All right, we got one more question. He said, "Cash or deal, Uchi, my boy. I have a question. Who is your favorite fusion?" <laughs> I literally responded with, "Oof." I'll save my answer for the next episode. Good question. All right, so here, here is the ne- that next episode. I wonder what it be. Yeah, seriously, right? There, that. So, I will give you not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jip you out of an, a, a a nice lengthy answer, my friend. I will. I will give you some some little backstory. So, once upon a time, oh, I'm gonna take a seat. My favorite fusion was Gotenks. 
My favorite fusion once upon a time was actually Gotenks. Vegito. I have a question real quick. Okay. What was the first fusion we saw? Gotenks. <laughs> All right, continue. Continue. <laughs> Just carry on. <laughs> oh. He hit me with the, actually, you <laughs> fucking moron. That's, a, that's, that's probably why he's your favorite. <laughs> Because he was my favorite too. It was the only oh, one we saw. Oh my god. You're absolutely 147% correct. <laughs> I can't. Bro, that. I wish I never saw that. Oh man. But yes. But yes. But here's the thing. So I say not. Okay, so back when Fusion was first introduced, of course, Gotenks being the first one that we see fused is like, yo. Like, that shit is fire. Like, I can't believe, like, they actually combined two freaking people. And then shortly after that, we got the Fusion Reborn movie. We saw Gogeta, right, and that shit. And then obviously within the same arc of Dragon Ball Z, we see Vegito. So there's your three fusions. Not counting, like, Kabito Shin Kai fucking I'm Taller Now character. And, yeah. you know, you know the, the, the fusions out of Budokai 2 and 3. Where it was like oh, stop. Tien, Yam, stop. Tien was whole... Shin, freaking Yamcha, and they had Goku. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but nah. So, like, you would think, like, okay, maybe after I seen a couple, like, oh yeah, like, I'm gonna pick Vegeta or Gogeta now because they're definitely stronger than Goten. And let me tell you something Super Saiyan 3 is and still will forever be one of my favorite forms out of all the shit we have. I don't care about Ultra Instinct, Primal Instinct, Yamama Instinct, Super Saiyan 6. Super Saiyan 3 will always be one of my favorites of all time. That hairstyle, the just the power behind it, the idea, the concept, the 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 struggle bus just to get to that form. The fucking agony, ah, like that shit. The epic soundtrack behind it. That's and and seeing Gold Tanks do that shit. My God, that was wild. It was great. It was, dude. It was like I will never forget watching that shit for the first time. And now time. he comes like that everywhere in games, yes. in the show everywhere. They go fuse aha straight to that's three. That's default. Like <laughs> Hell yeah, that's default, man. We don't need that super. Yeah, Saiyan. it's literally default. That shit is default. And you know what's funny? Now that we're talking about Go Tanks really quick, like the like the more I think about it, now that we're talking about it, the more I realize that Go Tanks is more suited for Super Saiyan 3 than Goku was. How? How do you figure? How do I figure? Here's how I figure. My man literally is part of the next generation lineage of the Saiyan bloodline, the half breeds. So he got more S cells. Okay, well, I mean, I'm sure you can add that as a cherry on top if you want, but I'm what I'm trying to say is that you got two kids that naturally went Super Saiyan because they sneezed, right? They, they, they was fucking nothing to them. Now you have them fuse. Now they're be, just how off of fusion works. That shit is beyond fire and crazy, and their strength is all over the place. Now they're going Super Saiyan three, off of literally a visual example. They said, yo, how do you do that? And they said, and Goku's like, here, I'll show you. <laughs> For another two minutes, and then boom. And they go, whoa. And back then, there was no tingly. There was no tingly back then. They didn't, have, they didn't feel that shit back in the day. So here we have Gotenks fucking doing it just to get the hell out of the of the freaking time chamber while also introducing a, a, another thing that they literally just fucking witnessed in front of them from Boo do it to make a, a time portal vortex thing warp hole to get out of the monkey see monkey, monkey do, do son live by it it's a it, <laughs> It's gonna be a t-shirt on this shit, man. I'm telling you. It's gonna be one. It's full power podcast, it's, monkey see, monkey do. Yeah, it's, it, I'm telling you. And and so, and so look and look and look what happened. Like they they think about the duration they was in that 
And they didn't have no fatigue. They didn't have none of the shit that we saw Goku going through. Oh, yes, they did. When they go through, I mean, they, they defused. They got the fucking, their shit knocked. That was the thing, though. Like, they didn't have, like, when you say that Goku was fatigued, where when are you talking about? You know what? I got to take all that back. Because now I'm just realizing, well, we didn't see Gotenks in the of Power now, do we? All right, you know what? <laughs> Fuck everything I just the- said. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they weren't 18 or older. Yeah. But I feel... Okay, so I guess what I was trying to say was, like, had they like had they kept doing that and kept up with it, I feel like they would have been better suited because Goku literally only tried to use Super Saiyan 3, like, when he really needed a, a Zenkai boost or some kind of upper hand that was, like, a short-term type of thing. And, of course, it never worked out because it was like... Oh, like he would just get you know his shit rocked and then done like unfortunately super saiyan 3 is not like it it, it has far su- like surpassed its purpose which kind of sucks because like like you know we won't ever really see it out of goku at least um outside because you know go ahead like only outside of like e- example type of situations like if he's just showing it off or whatever or like i said using it for a quick boost but then he's not gonna stay in it he's probably gonna go right back down to super saiyan or he's just gonna go chill in base or access his god key that he's got you know so yeah but yeah my favorite fusion is gogeta So, what's your favorite fusion? Let me guess. I'm not gonna say it because I want you to say it. My favorite fusion. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. (laughs) Is Goku. (laughs) And that's your episode, guys. Thanks for watching. We are fucking out of here. No, the fuck is not Goku. Dude. Bro, I literally flexed the Patara. What, what What you think? Dude, Goku has the worst hairline in Dragon Ball history. <laughs> in, okay, 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 okay. In Dragon Ball history. Because I was instantly about to name somebody else. But they're not Dragon Ball. Yeah, no. <laughs> nah, this man. Go- I was ready. Goku has the worst, the worst hairline in Dragon Ball history. Like I don't know if they're ever gonna <laughs> revisit Vegeta's. that shit. They, you remember when they almost did? Like during the whole like before Vegito, like Goku was like, "Oh my god, I got a fuse with Hercule." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit was funny. He pictured that shit in his head. Yup. Except I don't think they did him. An injustice. They actually gave him a whole head of hair. They just gave him the fro, I think, and a mustache. Can we, they did give him the fro. Yeah. Goku Can we talk the, about... Oh, my God. That shit was... Real... Whoosh. That shit was half his head all the way back. Like, that shit was LeBron James in 20 years. I'm sleep. But I... Yeah, but that's all our questions. Oh, yeah, wait. No, you didn't actually say you got the patar. Okay. Vegito, right? Right? Vegito. Yes. I figured as much. So. But I don't think we're gonna see him again. I think it's gonna be Gogeta from now on. If we if we get more fusions, that is. Dude, imagine though if there was a uh, there was a scenario. I think they're gonna put Vegito to sleep. But yo, but listen, imagine if there was a scenario where, like, dude, one of the one of my uh, one of my what if arcs, if they ever did this shit, would be like a fusion world scenario, where it's like they have. They're like fighting fusion characters and it's all fusion this, fusion that. And mid fight, they they do they do both. They like fight they start with Gogeta and then that shit runs out and then they put the fucking earrings on. How fire would that be? Talk about saving time. That's the dude, honestly, that's the most optimal shit they should do. Think about it, and and I actually, that, dude, that shit would that would be fire. Start off as. I think we're gonna have to have a fusions part two discussion because this is. All right, whatever. We save. Oh, we dude. save it for another one. Save it for another episode. 
But guys, that is definitely going to be it for episode 12 Full Power Podcast. Of course, as always, uh, make sure you're hitting that like button because, uh, you know, YouTube's algorithm is always going to be on some crazy shit. But, you know, it makes it does make sense. You know, the more people that like it, the more people that will be aware of the Full Power Podcast and more listeners, more more interaction with you guys. Um, and uh, possibly very soon... Um, we're gonna we're gonna give a live a live uh, episode a try on here on YouTube. So look out for that. Um, but yeah, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit us up on Twitter. Make sure to leave your comments down below. Any suggestions or anything you guys might might want us to talk about in a future episode. Also drop those down in the comments. And uh, yeah, guys, make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Have a good one. May the power protect you. Keep it locked, loaded right here on Uchi Games channel. I'll see y'all next time.